are back. Okay, so now we'll do, are you sure you want this dark one? Because that's awfully dark with the light color. Mm-hmm. You sure? Mm-hmm. All right. Okay. So we're going to take the base coat, and we are just going to... down and you want to make sure that you're not that you're getting like the sides but that you're not flooding the sides so you don't want like crazy okay so now you're gonna stick your finger in really slowly and it's small so you can't really do Oh, you're all spirit hmm. Look at that. Okay. That's up for a second. Okay, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to layer it again. Mm -hmm. and we're going to dip it in the clear. Okay. So we're going to put a clear coat over it. So that, because it's a thick glitter, mm -hmm. so that the pieces don't get all crazy. Okay, so same thing. You're going to go in at an angle. Push it in. There you go. more and a little bit so that it gets there you go Perfect. <clears throat> so now it's capped and when we file it and stuff it'll stay smooth mm -hmm. and then the glitter stays good but then you don't feel it and I still I gotta work on that more. okay so now you want this color. Okay. So now we're going to work with this color. I'll do your pinky. <clears throat> so you're going to go a third of the way down. Okay, stick it in there at a 45 degree angle. There you go. Perfect. Forty-five degree angle. Mm -hmm. okay, gotta go deeper. A little bit. There you go. Perfect. See, it's not that hard. It's just harder when you're chasing a monster. Okay, and you just want to put, you know, a thin layer, not a lot. Pick your inner. You can here, put your finger in. Okay, pull it out. You could, we can move this closer to you now so you don't have to <laughs> reach across the table. Okay. <clears throat> I 
you want to make sure you get your edges. You're not, you know, putting a whole bunch on here. Mm -hmm. How long do these stay for? I had mine on for almost a month. Really? Those blue ones, yeah. Okay. But it depends on how rough you are in your hands. Okay, push. More. There. There you go. It's okay. That's why it's in the thing. So I can put it back. Okay. So let's get the debushish. So we're going to brush over here. And then we'll put another. Do those fill okay? Do you want to do another layer for two? They look fine. Unless they don't look fine to you. They look fine to me. It's just however they feel. Okay. And you can do one, two, three, depending. But you're not. Your nails are pretty sturdy. So this is one layer, so it's thin. So it may not last two or three weeks. Mm -hmm. So um, as far as that goes. These ones are pretty thin that I have on today. I didn't do as much, so we'll see. But need to... Okay. So now that that's done, we're going to take this mm -hmm. and we're going to make sure that our edges are good before I activate it. My top brush went really good on you. So then, so that was the base coat. So now we're going to do the activator. Okay. And this one, you're, this is what makes it solid again. This one's a little thicker, so I'm gonna put a little more on it. Do you feel it kind of cool on your... Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and when I did, sorry, it was her sides were kind of soft. Okay, let's give that a second. Does it look full coverage? Mm -hmm. Do you have a, well, you have an edge right there that's mm -hmm. not covered. Okay, so what we'll do. So there's, we have an edge that isn't covered. So this one's gonna, oh, maybe I can make it, okay, stick that in there. The whole thing? Yeah, because I covered it all. on it. So we want them to sound like this, and they, mm -hmm. don't, they don't sound like that yet. So 
So do you want to do your other hand on your own? Mm. You can do it. Okay, so your it says one mm -hmm. and then two. So those are the two you're working with initially. So mm -hmm. first off, you have to buff your nails. Yeah, it is a little tippy color. Yes, I know. It's my weekend torture. Like, literally, my weekend torture. Because golf is back. No, he always watched sports. And now he's learned how to play, um... Gambling online, so... He can win millions of dollars and not win millions, not lose anything. He used to do that too. <clears throat> okay, so now you're going to take the nail primer and you can just loosey goosey make sure you cover all aspects of your nail. So it's going to dehydrate it, clean off any goopies. Mm -hmm. mm. And it just quickly evaporates. This one we don't have to do three fourths, or do we? Hmm. This one you don't have to do the three fourths. Mm -mm. No, just brush it on nice and slap it on. So that's step one. Mm -hmm. That was step one. Okay, so now we're going to do step two. And step two we're going to make easy. So this is the one you're going to do where you just go three quarters, right? Because that way if there's a lot on your brush, you still have... You still, um, you can push it down. See what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Instead of trying to get it off of your... Um, okay. 
So now you're going to shrub it in at a seven or 45 degree angle. There you go, perfect. And then you just tap it off. Voila, just like that. Okay. What if it didn't catch some? Oh, you know what we didn't do? Hmm. We didn't clear coat it first. Oops. Hmm? We didn't clear coat it. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> Let's clear coat the other ones. And we'll clear coat the top of that. The only reason why I clear coat it is so that the pigment doesn't make your nails... Um, doesn't stain your nails if it's going to do that. <clears throat> Which is like the reds or stuff like that. Mm -hmm. is the only reason why I did it. finger but we'll clear coat that one when we're done so that it's the same thickness okay Oh no, FedEx is driving by. <laughs> what? FedEx is driving by. Yeah. They didn't stop. Probably the first time. <laughs> <laughs> so mean. And if you buy this and do this at home, you can just, like me, I just paint them all and then dip them all real quick. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And you want to dip your index finger that you already painted, so oh. toss that in there. Yeah, perfect. So I just, if I know what I want, then I just, especially with the clear sense, because we already know what we're doing. Okay. And then do this one? No, let's dust that one off so we don't get the... Crap in the. Okay, now do it. <clears throat> I did it wrong. It's okay. Make sure you get it up to your cuticle. up and get it in there. There you go. I kind of helped with that, but that works. <laughs> okay. Okay, so now um, we want to do your glitter one. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Do the glitter one. So now you're gonna make on um, make up and make sure that it's not super thick and that you're getting on the sides. Mm. 
Okay. Stick her in the glitter one. Okay, we'll let that sit for a second and then we'll brush it off and then we'll clear cap it. Perfect. Okay, so now you're going to do it again and then we're going to clear cap it. Perfect. Look at that bad boy. In my drill, I can help clean up that. Okay, so let's do color now. So mm -hmm. that nail's done. And we're just going to dip one full. So just three quarters and then push it back and make sure you get your sides and stuff good. And then dip it. her in there. Perfect. Good job. Oop. And then I'll give you this and if you want to order um, this gives you a 10% off on your first order, and you can get, I'm going to try these. You want to see what these look like? Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> did I put the glue back in here? I don't think it did. Comes with the glue. I've never used these before, so I have no idea how they work. I don't know. Okay, so now you're gonna activate. We don't need to put them in the no, clear wait. again? No, no, because then you'll be all, oh, we already clear cap that one. Oh, we only clear cap this one. Yeah, we did do the other ones. Your nails, they dip really good, actually, so there's really no buffing or anything that we need to do. A little flooding on that one. Okay. So let's take. Can you do this one again? What is this one? Because the corner. This little piece, that tiny little corner, you want to do more? No. Nope. I was going to notice. I mean, I'm not perfect. I have these bald spots I got to figure out what to do with. Because mm. <laughs> I just put a thin. Huh? Put thingies on them. Yeah, that's not what I was thinking. So this you're just going to kind of run around the edge and try to get some crap off of there. See, and this is where you got the base coat on your skin. Mm 
so that's going to make it, you probably better do that. I don't want to hurt you. I don't want to hurt you. I put my nail tips on and they're all bumpy under here. Kind of annoying. But I really, really like And then my sweater kept getting lint in this, so when I pulled it out, it made holes. Mm-hmm. And I was trying to just do thin coats of shit. I wasn't cooperating with me very well. My article of clothing. And the more you do it, you'll get better. And if you don't do it at 3 in the morning, then, you know, they usually look better. And if you pick it up off your skin, we can usually just take the buffing block and smooth it out too. So I don't put too much on my nail. So the activator, just you're just gonna put on. You don't have to be. And you don't necessarily want to get this on your skin. To say it'll give you dermatitis, but but I have never gotten dermatitis on. Your mom call you Friday? She texted me. What did she say? Hmm? Why aren't you coming up? No. Oh, she didn't? Mm -mm. Mm. Does she know you wanted to go up there? Mm-mm.
Did your grandma call you? Mm -mm. I don't think my mom calls me. It's just so mean. So, so mean, Maddie. Okay, I'm going to.